So, do you want to know about the best M engines I ever built? Well, you came to the right place because I have this in this book. Yes, this is the book that Kakashi read when he was in Naruto. I don't know what he's up to now, but if you know anything about my boy Kakashi, hit me up. Anyway, we're gonna be ranking the BMW M engines. So this list is gonna be made up of M engines or any engines that power M cars. Number 14 on the list, we have the S85. That's the beta engine from the M5 and that engine is actually pretty dope in terms of performance and that engine is actually derived from Formula 1. Yeah, it is a great racing engine, but if you drive it on the road, it's just it's not reliable enough or it's not practical enough. At that time, Mercedes has their own super, super sedans, it's called the E55 and Audi has their own. And they were both false induction, they used the, um, Mercedes used the M113K which is the supercharged 5.4 liter V8 that make about 500 horsepower and that engine is bulletproof basically. The Audi engines is not reliable but it's not as bad as the engine from the M5. And I gotta give BMW for keeping it naturally as sprayed but it just has so many issues that it has to stay down low. And on paper, it sounds dope. You know, it rev up to 8,500 RPMs and whatnot, but I, I just not a big fan. Number 13, we have the S65. Uh, that's, the, uh, that's the engine from the only M3 that has a V8. The engine is basically a little brother to the engine that I was just talking about because they chop off the two cylinders and they call it a new engine. The problem is they didn't fix any they didn't fix any issues. So the motor still has reliability issues. And you know it's a four liter V8 that makes over 400 horsepower. It looks good on the paper and it sounds dope. Don't get me wrong. I love the motor. I love the M3 but when we are talking about the engine, it just doesn't it's not a really good motor. Honestly, I pop out the LS3 over that motor. You can call me what you want. Yes, on paper, the S65 looks better because it has higher horsepower per liter, but in reality, the LS3 is way lighter, probably not way lighter, but lighter than the S65, and it is. It makes more horsepower at any RPM, so the only problem is it doesn't wrap up to 8,000 RPM because it's a push wrap, but it's more reliable, it makes more horsepower, and it doesn't sound as good as the S65, but you know, that that doesn't concern me because I don't have to worry about spending thousands of dollars. Number 12 on the list, we have the M55, yes. Why is that on the list? Well, because this motor actually powered the M2. Well, it doesn't power the M2 anymore because they use the S55 now, but uh, the M55 from the M2 is not really the same motor from the 135i or 335i or you know just a regular amps that motor is actually beefed up and it is actually stronger and i love the sound of the m55 again i think bmw actually stepped at their games in terms of reliability with m55 it is more reliable than m54 and possibly s54 you can argue with that but you know i think it's a great motor it's just a Twin turbo charge N96 that make plenty of horsepower, plenty of torque. Okay, number 11, we have the S54. Um, I actually love that motor. I would like to own a car with that motor, either if there's a C3M, C4M, or an E46 M3, I don't care. The motor is actually pretty reliable for what it is. The earlier version of the motor has the rub bearing issues because yeah, there's a BMW engine, so they gotta keep it in the tradition, but uh, later they actually fixed the issues and that motor was reliable enough and it make a good amount of horsepower and I just love the sound of it. It doesn't sound brutal, it doesn't sound that beautiful. I love the sound it makes when it's sucking air, it has the induction noise. Number 10 on the list, we have the S63, so that's the motor from the current M5. This motor has been around for a long time and I think there's a good reason for it because this motor is actually reliable. Yeah, it's, it's really complicated but it doesn't have the raw bearing issues. But you know, I don't know much about the motor to be honest but 
I know people pushing over a thousand horsepower from those motors, so those cars are powerhouse. Number nine on the list, we have the S62. This is the first ever M Division V8 engine. And uh, this is from my second favorite M5, the E39 M5. Just take a look at that thing, man. It just looks beautiful. That car only offers in a six speed manual, and I like the fact that it is an enthusiast car. The motor is a 5 liter V8 that makes about 400 horsepower, pretty fast for its day. It's, I think they released that car in 2000, and that car can go up to 186 miles per hour. And it just sounds beautiful. I just love the sound of the motor. This is probably the best sounding motor that BMW has ever created. Number 8 on the list, we have the S52. This is the um, N6 from the E36M3 that we have in the States. Uh, this is basically a beefed up version of M52. Uh, because it doesn't make that much horsepower for what it is, but it is probably the most reliable M motor ever built because you know it's just a beefed up version of a regular engine from the 325 or 525 and i actually like the s52 because it just sounds good it rev height it's low maintenance and you can swap it into many chassis without spending major amount of cash and if you if you just want to enjoy your car if you don't really care about speed i'm not saying the e36 m3 is a slow but you know, if you're not looking for crazy performance, and if you don't want to go bankrupt only the M engines, this this is the engine for you. Okay, number seven, we have the M54, man. Oh my god, bro. It's so notorious for being unreliable, but the reality is the motor itself is actually solid. It's what around the motors that fails, like the injectors, high pressure fuel pan, water pan, whatnot. But I don't know if you know, but uh, BMW actually warranty those parts for 10 years or 100,000 miles because they fail so commonly. So it's not really that bad, you know. And um, M54s are so easy to make horsepower. Yeah, you're probably gonna be spending a lot on maintenance because the previous owner did not do anything. But after you got it all sorted out, I think it's a great motor and it's just super strong, man. Number six, we have the S14. Most people won't even know what that is, but and it doesn't make that much horsepower or really any horsepower in the today's world, but it's super expensive as well. But it's iconic because that's the motor from the E30 M3, which is the you know favorite M3 from every BMW fan, including me. I, I, I love the M3. And that motor only make about you know 250 horsepower in the craziest trim, but 250 horsepower doesn't sound a lot, but it's from a naturally aspirated inline four from the 80s. So when you think about it, it's actually kind of crazy. S14 isn't really designed to be reliable. It's, it, it was actually a pure racing motor. The E30 M3 is the most successful touring car. It went over, what, 1400 races? It's crazy, I mean. It's, it's part of the history, you know, so I gotta put that on the list. Number five, we have the S50. This is the motor from the European E36 M3. The motor is, isn't actually as reliable as the S52, but it is it is a different beast. The motor made over 320 horsepower. I mean, it just sounds good. And S50 has its own issues with panels and stuff, but it's nothing really major. And the reason this engine ranks so high is because this engine shares parts with the McLaren F1. Here's the best car ever built. So, I mean, for that reason alone, it has to rank pretty high. Um, I mean, I just love the sound of it. It's an NI6 M engine. Who has there to complain, right? Number four on the list, we have the S55. Yes, the engine from the F8. <laughs> F80 M3 and F82 M4. Uh, that's a great, great motor. I mean, there's no, there's no reason not to love the motor other than it doesn't sound that good. Blah blah blah. Yeah, it doesn't sound as good as the S65. That 
that it replaced, but it's way more reliable. It makes more horsepower, and it is just way better in every categories. You can mod these motors to go, I mean, past 700 RPMs, and people are doing it. And I think BMW actually stepped up their games with this motor in terms of reliability and performance. It's just, it's a good motor. Number three on the list, we have the S58. Yes, that's the motor that powers the current M3 and current M4. And you know what? I actually like the new M3 and M4. I don't care about the looks. I don't even think it looks that bad compared to other newer cars that other manufacturers are offering, you know. I mean, they still offer manual transmissions and stuff, so come on, take a little break. But the S58 itself is, I mean, it's a good motor. It's based on the B58, and B58 has proven itself what a solid and potential and how much potential it has, you know. People already modifying those motors to go past 900 or even a thousand horsepower with very little change to the internals and the blocks and you know everything is just super robust and I think BMW modern engines are more reliable than the previous one in terms of M department you know I'm not talking about the regular engines but in terms of M engines the new ones are way more robust and way better period number two we have the M88 Man, obviously the engine has to be high on the list because this is the best ever M engine that power the the legendary E26 M1, which is the best ever M car. The motor was designed by Paul Roche. If you don't know who Paul Roche is, Paul Roche basically saved BMW. He designed the M10, S14, M88. Paul Roche is a genius. I mean, basically he's a brilliant engineer. But let's get back to the engine. So in the late 70s, BMW was trying to make a, make a car that could compete with Porsche. And they teamed up with Lamborghini to make that happen. But after 10 years, Lamborghini was actually borrowing money from that project to be used in the Lamborghini LM02. And BMW was just, I mean, they were disappointed. And they got to take the project back and they got to finish it themselves. And it took them so long that after the car was finished, there's no races to even go racing in because it was too late. So they have those racing engines all over the warehouse and they, they don't know what the hell they were gonna do with them. So they put those motors in the M5. The E28 M5 has that motor. And that's my favorite M5 and the favorite M engine period. That thing sounds so good. It has individual throttle bodies, four valves for slinger, and like six, I mean, it just sounds amazing. And the E28 M5 was actually the fastest car, or fastest sedan ever built at the time. It was, it was crazy. Number one on the list, obviously it has to be the engine from the best car ever built. And we're not talking about any BMWs, we're talking about the McLaren F1, yes. I don't know if you know, but the F1 has the BMW B12, the only M division B12 that they ever built. It was again designed by Paul Roush, who is a brilliant engineer. That motor rev up to 7,500 RPMs and make about 600 horsepower out of a six liter displacement. It has four valves for slinger, doable head cams, individual throttle bodies. And that motor actually uses the cylinder head of the S50. The S70 slash 2, in my opinion, is the is one of the greatest sounding motor ever built. People talk about the LF8 and you know the Korea GT, but this motor deserves more credit. Uh, why is the McLaren F1 the best car ever built, you may ask? Well, it was the fastest car for more than 10 years, and it is still the fastest car with a naturally aspirated engine till this day. That car has a top speed of 240 plus miles per hour and it was designed by Gordon Murray who is, I mean, he's an automotive automotive icon as well, I mean just crazy stuff, you know but yeah, thanks for watching